So the, the prophecy, I mean, when you look at it, it is deceptively simple. And we did that on purpose, right? We designed it with these really sleek, clean, long curves, very clean legs. It's kind of monolithic and slab-like. But underneath all of that, there's a lot going on. Just the fact that it's a piece of furniture, it's a lot bigger than a lot of the other products that Wormwood offers. That's one thing, just the size of it complicates it a little bit. Uh, the other thing that complicates it, we have a mechanism that moves, so tolerance is super tight. We did not have any of the infrastructure actually build laminated curved pieces, uh, which, which we have on the Prophecy. And then just a lot of the joinery, we've kind of done over and over and over just to make sure it's super strong, super long lasting, heirloom quality. So we put a lot of time and effort into making sure the entire thing's robust, it looks good, and when you look at it, you don't see any of that work that we put into it. We like very seamless, clean products. The first black walnut took me probably about three months to build. That was by myself, a uh, little bit assistant from Doug Costello, the owner of the company. And really that was hand tools, you know, flying by the seat of our pants, kind of each piece was individually cut. We were changing things as we were building it. You know, sometimes we did two, three times during that table to really get it down right. The Bolivian Rosewood table that we showed at PAX Unplugged, that one took me about three weeks by myself to build, but it was still doing it by hand. We didn't have jigs. It was kind of a one-off piece of furniture like you might have for a commissioned piece of furniture. And at this point now, wave one, we're making 12 tables and it's taken us probably about three months to get where we are. And we have seven or eight tables glued up right now. You have about three weeks or so, hopefully, to, to finish all 12 of them up. Um, so you can see it's kind of accelerating really quickly. The radius, uh, this is, we're big nerds here, right? Everybody loves gaming, history. The radius of the prophecy is actually based on the Roman Colosseum. It's a classic, obviously. <laughs> So delivery date, we are hoping to be kind of wrapping up the tables on our end by the end of April. And then depending on where the people that had purchased the prophecies are in the country, delivery can be anywhere from two to four weeks. Um, so we're, we're hoping everybody has their prophecy in their houses, playing games on it by the end of May uh, at the very latest. That's really, we're working really hard to do it. We got six guys now, dedicated prophecy, that's all we're working on, uh, and we're really trying to hit that deadline.